Deciding frame. Things you need to break. Things you need breaks often. That's by a long way the match of the tournament so far, and it's not a good break. Got it much too thick. Ding will already be in his chair, fearing the worst. He'll be thinking if Ronnie pops this red, he's played his last shot in this match. Oh, and how well did he play it? How well did he play it? That's how you get to be one of the best players in the world, if not the best, is to be able to play shots like that under pressure. Yes, full of conviction. Eight. Hell for the black. Nine. And as we said, Stephen, at the, mar at the start of the match, Ronnie looked a little bit tentative. But from 3-0 behind, he's played absolutely superb. Don't get me wrong. I think he'll admit that uh, 16. it was his opponents giving him a little bit of help to get him back to this decider. But he has played well. 17. From 3-0 behind. As good as he's queued for quite a while. Yeah, I mentioned before Christmas, two or three tournaments, he, he just wasn't playing well at all. 24. But it looks to me like he's been putting some work on, working in the practice table. Looks a, a lot sharper. 25. So, key shot coming up. Bound to get a perfect angle in the blue. 30. Or even bolt colour. Has he got too much angle in the red to stay on the blue? Possibly. Maybe you have to play for green or brown. But the key shot coming 31. up. It'll be the green. As I say, if these shots miss the pink. Just before the right middle pocket with some right hand side. Certainly not ideal. Would have liked to have got a slightly thicker contact on the bunch. Yeah, he looked to the, see if he could pop the red to the left middle. Couldn't hamper on this. How many times right, has he him. missed to the middle? 34. It's in the near jaw first. Three occasions I can think of. Three glaring ones. Don't get me wrong, when you're hampered by the black, as he was, not easy. It'll be so precise. But he'd be annoyed. Didn't make the most of that chance. except just pot it because he was hampered bridging over the pack of reds. Well, the, the roll-up behind any of the bolt colours is available to lay the snooker. He got down as if he was looking at the pot in the green there, which I can't believe he's going to play that. And again, he looks, he's looking pretty positively at it, but I think he's going to decide on the roll-up behind the brown. 
Yeah, it's just like he's desperate to win the frame in one visit. Is he rolling up behind the brown? Is he playing the pot? He's playing the pot, I feel. Mm. Things you shows you. I don't think he's thinking as clearly as he was early on in the match. A very strange short choice. I mean, what is he going to play next? Very strange short choice. Surely he wasn't planning on leaving himself this red this that Ronnie's going to take on. Oh. One. Wonderful shot. Again, look at how still the head is. Deserves to win the match, that shot. Yeah, there's just one more good shot to be played. Ding Jun Wei now, Eight. sat in his seat. Nothing he can do about it. That one good shot. Nine. Is this one coming up? Pop the black. Maybe screw the red on the extreme left of the cluster if he can cannon that. You leave him a nice choice of reds. Well, I decided to go in and folly, and it's worked out absolutely perfect. This will be one of Ronnie O'Sullivan's greatest victories in my eyes. 16. Sometimes we question his attitude, but there's been nothing wrong with it today. He's hung on in there. Okay, a little bit of help from his opponent. But now a chance to win a match Seven. that he never looked like winning. Yeah, I'm afraid the pressure's got to ding to get over the winning line. That's all you can say, the chances he's had. Red to left middle, the long red with two reds left. They missed, it was over the it's right corner pocket. Not the best position shot there from Ronnie. Should have avoided the kiss on the brown. Ding may think he can get back to the table. All depends on this. Twenty. Couldn't have played it better. Yeah, it's been a wonderful match. Both players have played fantastically well, but 32. unfortunately for Ding, he's just weakened slightly when he's seen the winning line. 33. That's credit for Ronnie Sullivan. 3-0 down. You have to say it didn't look good at that stage, but he's played some fantastic snooker to win this match. Yes, Stephen, and when we talk about that pressure, he's cued absolutely beautifully 40. through all of it, hasn't he? Yeah, the opening red in this frame, okay, he didn't win the frame the match from that visit, but the opening red 41. was just wonderful. And then the red that Ding left him, that, what do you have to say, strange shot choice from Ding. He could have rolled up behind the bolt colour. Should have rolled, rolled the red behind in. the bolt colour. 47. <clears throat> 48. I'm not being wise after the event. Yeah, I think even I would have rolled up behind the bolt colour there. Well, that is pushing it a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, I, well, it was the right shot. If you played the right shot, then, uh, you 55. know, I mean, it didn't look as though he was going to get any advantage by potting the, the brown. 56. It was a it was a heads gone moment, wasn't it? Yeah. Not thinking straight. But boy, as he turned it on, the rocket. Wonderful. Great 62. match. It's like, you know, we always say Shane has got to be a loser, but that's the way of it. They play a odd number of frames. Somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. But Ronnie O'Sullivan has absolutely produced the goods here. 68. Got to take your chances when you get them. And I think 70. it goes without saying now, he is the man to beat in this year's Betfred Masters. He's already a seven times winner. You won't want to bet 73. against it being eight. Not playing the pot on the brown. 
and that will be it and Dean Jung Wee will be left wondering what happened there in the last couple of frames but Ronnie O'Sullivan fair player stuck in there and when he got in his opportunities he's played unbelievable snooker and he wins and he's in the quarter final he beats Dean Jung Wei by six frames to five what a match